brothers and sisters, I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. Um, first, I want to give you the gospel. It is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. That is that Jesus Christ died for our sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead for our justification. Jesus always existed, self-existing, Son of God, was born of a virgin, lived the perfect life, and yet without sin, shed his precious blood on the cross of Calvary for the forgiveness of all our sins, past, present, and future. And on the third day, he rose from the dead, proving that he was dead. Okay? And we are made righteous by believing and trusting in him. Okay? Jesus came to reconcile us back to God because naturally we are sinners by birth. Okay? And our sins have separated us from God. But Jesus came to reconcile that which was lost, which is us. Every single person on earth was lost. Okay? And Jesus was the only one that can reconcile us back to God. Okay? And therefore, he had to die on the cross as a propitiation for our sins. Okay? He became the sinless sacrifice lamb of God. Okay? And God was pleased with the sacrifice of his son on our behalf. And what God commands is that you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He died on the cross for you and that He shed His precious blood and on the third day He rose from the dead. And if you believe it today, you are saved. And you must, again, part of the gospel that people don't even talk about is um, that Jesus is the only way. He is the only one that can reconcile you back to God. There is no other way apart from Him. I say that because I want to share something with you guys today. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So with that being said, anyone who claims to be a Christian and says that there is multiple ways to get to God apart from Christ alone is not a Christian. I am saying that on record because that is hold to be true. I don't care if you say you believe in the dead, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Many do believe that too. But your profession is just denying that Jesus is the only way means there's other ways you can get to heaven apart from Christ then. That means you haven't really believed the gospel because Jesus is the gospel. Every word he spoke is the gospel, okay? But his death, his birth, his resurrection is the gospel that we believe, okay? for our salvation and that salvation institutes who he is and what he stands for so when you deny that jesus is the only way to the father then you are calling him a liar which means you have denied the fact that he is the way the truth and the life okay so you don't believe the gospel you, you see you see what i'm saying here i am this is not about adding another doctrine this is just part of who he is okay Either you believe in who Jesus is or you deny him completely, you know. But you can't say, well, I believe some parts of this and then I, then I don't agree with him being the only way. Then you obviously don't know what you're talking about, okay. The gospel is so simple, okay. It is all about Christ and Christ alone. If it's not about Christ, then who is paying for the sins of those people who you are telling that they can go to heaven? Who is paying for their sins? Who paid for their sins? He said, oh, oh, well, Jesus died for the sins of the whole world, but everyone can, 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 can worship whatever God they want and they can still make it into heaven. That is not true. That is not true. Jesus is the only way. It is so clear. This is why the road is narrow. It's not a wide road where multiple gods lines up so you could just enter in each door you want and all of them leads to heaven. It doesn't work that way. There's only one door. He is the door. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth and the life. Now, with that being said, in the early Christians, you know, Paul them, right? They were actually called followers of the way, okay? Followers of, of the way. They were not called Christians then, okay? They were called followers of the way. But in Acts eleven twenty six, I think it's eleven twenty six. we're going to go there. That is the first time they called them Christians, which means followers of the way. So if you claim to be a Christian, but you're not a follower of the way, who is the way? Jesus Christ. Is, I already told you that in John 14, 6. I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. If you deny John 14, 6, you are not a follower of the way. You see, people toss around the word Christian, don't even know what it means. It means follower of the way. So either you're a follower of the way, or you're not. But you cannot be a Buddhist 
and also be a follower of the way. You cannot be a Satanist and also be a follower of the way. You cannot be a Muslim and also be a follower of the way. You can be both. Either you are a Christian, which means a follower of the way, or you're not. Okay? So, again, this has nothing to do with um, how I'm feeling, but I just want to make this clear because I was speaking to someone today early this morning, and this person, you know, was talking about, you know, Christian, you know, you know, him being a Christian and this, and, and that's great, you know. I'm glad people said that, but I had to make it clear what it means to be a Christian. A Christian is exactly someone who is follower of the way, follower of Christ, okay? And to be a follower of Christ, you must agree with Christ. You cannot be a follower of Christ and then disagree with Christ. It doesn't make any sense because if he is God, to disagree with him means you call him a liar in what he says, okay? And that's a problem. So, again, some people think that they are Christians. They're going to be in for a rude awakening because tossing the name Christian around doesn't make you a Christian. What makes you a Christian is the fruit, which is what you profess, what you believe. Okay? What do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God and that he is the only way to heaven? Do you believe that Jesus died for your sins, was buried, and on the third day rose from the dead? If you have believed this for your justification and because of your faith in him, all your sins, I mean, I mean all, have been wiped clean, past, present, and future, never to be remembered anymore. Okay? If you agree with these statements, you are a Christian now. You are in agreement with God because it's all about God's testimony concerning his son, not about what Charles has to say. Okay? It's about what the Bible teaches. But anyway, let's go to scripture real quick. Now, I'm going to give you a scripture of the day. So here in Acts 11.26, And when he found him, he brought him unto Antioch. Talk about Barnabas went to Tarsus to seek Saul. Okay? And when he found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that for a whole year, they assembled themselves with the church and taught many people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. Okay, so that's where the word Christian came from. Okay, in Antioch first. Okay, but they were always called followers of the way. Okay, so again, unless you are a follower of the way, then you're not a Christian. So simple as that. The people toss around Christian. Well, I'm a Christian because I, I go to this church. All my parents go to this church. So. Your parents' faith is not what saves you. It is your belief in the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Christianity is not about a religion. It is a relationship. It is personal. Okay? It is God manifested in the flesh to reconcile us back to himself and to sup with us and to have a personal relationship with each one of us. Okay? That is what this is about. Friendship. This is why Abraham was called a friend of God. Jesus calls us his friend also okay i'm telling you guys this is really crucial anyway word of the day for even the son of man came not to be ministered unto but to minister and to give his life for his life a ransom for many this is mark 10 45 okay so guys please we need to really just uh be careful you know when people professing to be Christians, we have to ask them, you know, what they actually believe. Because these ecumenical movements, that is not a Christian thing, okay? The fact that interfaith movement, the Abrahamic interfaith, uh, um, what is it? Abrahamic interfaith, interfaith movement or something like that, you know? Um, that's the whole thing with the, the, the Pope, with ecumenical movement where they're gathering all religions. Oh, we all serve the same God. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. It's Christ alone. Ephesians 2 and 9, for by grace are you saved through faith, and are not of yourself. It is a gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. Every single other religion or, or, or way, <laughs> okay, are by works. By works. Which is dead works, by the way, okay? But Jesus Christ alone is by grace through faith. That's it, okay? So again, and once you're saved, you can never 
lose your salvation. Why? Because God is the God of promise and he keeps his promise. You know, either you believe or you don't. But I hope you believe today. I hope you get blessed today. And please just be careful when everyone says they're Christian. You got to talk to them to find out what exactly do they believe. That's when you really know that some professing are not actually possessors of Christ. Okay? Many profess Christ with their lips as Christians, but they're, they're unbelievers. They just say the word. Yeah, well, yeah, we Christians. But what do you believe? And then you hear them, you're like, what in the world are you talking about? It is scary out there, people. It's time to guard your hearts, guard your minds, people. Careful who you listen to, you know? Careful who you listen to, okay? Know this. God's promises is always yes and amen and true. I hope you have a blessed day. Peace.